Uh, the odds of me coming into the rocket business, not knowing anything about rockets, not having ever built anything, I mean, um, I would have to be insane if I thought the odds were in my favor. Why even begin? Uh, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. I really respect Elon Musk's hustle to run so many companies all at once. And now we can see that Elon Musk's SpaceX is raising $750 million in a new round of funding that values the rocket maker and satellite internet company at $137 billion. That's another almost a quarter trillion dollar business owned by the Person of the Year 2021, according to Time magazine. Since its inception, SpaceX has been involved in several rounds of funding, which have played a major part in the company's valuation. But this is just the beginning. How did SpaceX climb the ladder of success to this height in an extremely complex industry? And is it on its path to being the most valued space company on Earth? Watch this video to find out. Guys, make sure to like the video and subscribe, because your support helps us to make more videos every week. SpaceX is an American rocket maker and satellite internet company headquartered in Texas at the moment, but started in California in 2002. It was founded by Elon Musk with the stated aim of reducing space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. You're self-taught? Yeah. Well, well self-taught, yes, meaning um, I, didn't, I don't have an aerospace degree. So how, how did you go about acquiring the knowledge? I read a lot of books, talked to a lot of people, and, and have a great team. Initially, Musk's focus was to create a project called Mars Oasis, a project to land a miniature experimental greenhouse and grow plants on Mars to revive public interest in space exploration. To do this project, he had to acquire a DNEPR ICBM for the project through Russian contacts through Jim Cantrell. However, this attempt wasn't successful as, during that time, the United States had withdrawn from the ABM treaty and created the Missile Defense Agency, increasing tensions with Russia. Due to his unsuccessful attempt, Musk diverted his business idea to start a company that will build the affordable rockets he needs for the project, which is SpaceX. By using vertical integration, employing affordable commercial off-the-shelf components when possible, and utilizing the modular design method used in contemporary software engineering, Musk believes SpaceX could drastically reduce launch costs. In early 2002, Musk began the search for staff for his would-be SpaceX. He invited rocket engineer Tom Mueller, who would later be SpaceX's CTO of Propulsion, to be his business partner. Mueller agreed, and that was the beginning of SpaceX. I think we're at the dawn of a new era. I think it's going to be very exciting. What we're hoping to do with SpaceX is to push the envelope and provide a reason for people to be excited and inspired to be human. Over the years, SpaceX has grown into one of the most, if not the most, valuable companies in the world. So how did SpaceX become so valuable in the eyes of investors? Its greatness was spurred by two factors. Number one, its grandiose mission. Elon Musk isn't only a great dreamer, but one who believes no dream is too big to achieve, and this standpoint is reflected in SpaceX. His dream is to land a miniature experimental greenhouse and grow plants on Mars, and he has been working rapidly towards that dream. A few years after the inception of SpaceX, precisely in 2005, its first orbital vehicle, the Falcon 1, was created through the use of internal funding. The Falcon 1 was an expendable two-stages-to-orbit small-lift launch vehicle. Like every business, the first three launches of Falcon 1 between 2006 and 2008 were a failure, and this almost ended the company. Financing for Tesla Motors had also failed, and as a result, Tesla, SolarCity, and Musk himself were all on the verge of bankruptcy at the same time. Musk reportedly was waking from nightmares screaming and in physical pain because of the stress. The financial situation of the company began to turn around, with the first successful launch achieved in the fourth attempt on September 28, 2008. Musk shared his remaining $30 million between Tesla and SpaceX, and NASA awarded the first commercial resupply services in December, financially saving the company. At first, SpaceX intended to follow its light Falcon 1 launch vehicle with an intermediate capacity vehicle, the Falcon 5. But the company decided to proceed with the development of the Falcon 9, a reusable heavy lift vehicle. This second invention brought about another huge contract with NASA, which we will talk about later in the video. In 2013, SpaceX launched its first commercial mission for a private customer. 
A year later, the company won 9 out of the 20 contracts that were up for grabs worldwide. That year, Ariane Space requested additional subsidies from the European government to face the competition from SpaceX. In January 2014, SpaceX raised $1 billion from Google and Fidelity in exchange for 8.3% of the company, putting the company's valuation at roughly $12 billion. In the same month, SpaceX revealed its plan to build a new satellite constellation called Starlink that will provide global broadband internet service with 4,000 satellites. With Falcon 9 Flight 20, SpaceX first accomplished a safe landing and first stage recovery in December 2015. The company achieved the first successful landing on the autonomous spaceport drone ship, of course, I still love you, in the Atlantic Ocean in April 2016. In January 2019, SpaceX began working on its Starlink and Starship projects with the announcement of laying off 10% of its workforce for the financing of the projects. Early that year, construction of the initial prototypes and tests for Starship began. In May 2019, the first large batch of 60 Starlink satellites was launched by SpaceX. Summarily, SpaceX has accomplished several feats in space exploration. These include the first private company to launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft, the first private company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station, the first private company to achieve vertical propellant landing of an orbital rocket booster, the first private company to reuse such a booster, and the first private company to send astronauts to orbit and the International Space Station. Furthermore, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets have been successfully flown and landed more than a hundred times. And here is number two, NASA contracts. Space exploration is a routine for NASA, and Elon Musk's SpaceX is a company that has their needed resources and can produce for them at a lower cost than what they would have spent doing it which makes it their go-to. In 2006, SpaceX won NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Phase 1 contract to demonstrate cargo delivery to the International Space Station with a possible contract option for the crew. Through this contract, created by NASA to offer seed money through Space Act agreements for developing new capabilities, NASA paid SpaceX $396 million. So now that we've selected our partner, and for the next phase going forward. While SpaceX developed the Falcon 9 launch vehicle with their resources. These Space Act agreements have been shown to have saved NASA millions of dollars in development expenditures, making rocket development four to 10 times cheaper than it would have been had it been NASA producing it alone. NASA issued several contracts known as commercial resupply services from 2008 to 2016 for the transportation of supplies and cargo to the International Space Station by privately operated spacecraft. The first CRS agreements, spanning deliveries through 2016, were made in 2008 and rewarded SpaceX with $1.6 billion for 12 cargo transport missions. The first of the 12 resupply missions, SpaceX CRS-1, was launched in October 2012, reached orbit, berthed for 20 days, and then splashed down into the Pacific Ocean after re-entering the atmosphere. Since then, CRS flights have flown to the ISS around twice a year. NASA extended the Phase 1 contracts in 2015 by ordering three more resupply flights from SpaceX. Later, the contract was extended again for a total of 20 cargo missions to the International Space Station. After SpaceX CRS-20, the last Dragon 1 flight left the ISS in April 2020. Dragon was put out of commission. In January 2016, SpaceX was among the recipients of a second round of contracts. Up to nine more CRS flights by SpaceX will use the improved Dragon 2 spacecraft. One more thing I have to add to the list, SpaceX's future potential. One of SpaceX's major projects is the making of Starship. The Starship, whose development started back in 2012, will be a complex spacecraft with various variations. By 2023, SpaceX hopes to have the first Starship ready for launch, and in the years that follow, a fleet of them will be produced. They will all look pretty similar, although some of them will be made for transporting people or heavy payloads between Earth and other planets, and others for landing on the Moon during Artemis missions, and still others for various uses. Besides providing a lunar lander for NASA's Artemis missions, SpaceX also plans to supply a starship for the Dear Moon project. 
Yusaku Meizawa, a Japanese billionaire, is funding the Dear Moon project, which aims to send Meizawa, eight other people, and possibly one or two crew members into lunar orbit, and then return to Earth. The project is planned to be executed in 2023, but there have been doubts expressed as to whether the Starship is ready to carry passengers. If the Dear Moon project is executed successfully, other billionaires may likely be interested in doing a space trip of this kind. After the development of many Starship rockets, Musk and SpaceX hope to send humans to Mars by 2026 and have a colony of one million people living there by 2050. I think it's important that humanity become a multi-planet species. I think most people would agree that a future where we are space-faring civilization is inspiring and exciting um, compared with one where we are forever confined to Earth until some eventual extinction event. You know, that, that's really why I started SpaceX. Most projects by SpaceX seem to be the greatest and most groundbreaking of any private company in the future. And it can only be rivaled by the likes of Blue Origin and Boeing that have almost unlimited budgets between the two. Though all these plans may go wrong or they may not be fully completed, it's hard to deny that every one of them will revolutionize the aerospace industry if they go according to plan. It is simply astonishing to think that a private company will soon be able to land people on the moon, and may even be the first to do so. This only goes to show how innovative and great SpaceX is. Thanks for watching. On behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission.